Yo, what is going on, guys? I am bringing you the best centermen in NHL 15 for Hockey Ultimate Team. These guys are all 85 plus. Most of them are 85 overall. Some of them are a bit higher. There are a few elite guys like 90 and 95. But I will be showing you guys each player. They're most of the time, well, pretty much every team has at least one pretty good centerman. A few teams don't. But first, we're starting with the Anaheim Ducks and obviously Ryan Kessler. He's actually a very good player as well as having 90 faceoffs. And I'm just showing you that he is a righty. You can check his height and weight from here as well. So just showing you a bit more, except he is fairly expensive. But if you're looking for a pretty elite centerman who could win you a bunch of faceoffs, Ryan Kessler is definitely the way to go. If you're looking for someone a bit not as dynamic or not as expensive, a little bit cheaper of a player, still pretty good. Vermet is 85 in faceoffs. He's left-handed. He's a pretty fast player, and he's definitely going to be a lot cheaper than getting a Ryan Kessler. The next team is the Boston Bruins, which have a ton of good centermen. First, we have David Krejci, who's a righty as well, who's a pretty good player. He has... 85 faceoffs. Then we have Chris Kelly, who has 90 faceoffs, so a really, really good centerman there, who's really cheap. And Patrice Bergeron, the best centerman in the game, well, tied with someone else, has 95. So Boston has three good centermen, all different ranges. Bergeron's extremely expensive, extremely good. Kelly's really cheap, but really good at faceoffs. And Krejci's an overall pretty good player. Then we have Jordan Stahl, who has 85 for faceoffs and a pretty good player. And then a lower end player in McClement, who also has 85 and a pretty good defensive player at that as well. And next we're moving into the other centerman who's extremely good. There's two of them who have 95 faceoffs. And the next one sadly was not in the market at the time, but Jonathan Taves, he is 90 something overall. Not even exactly sure. I think it's 93 overall for Hutt, but he has 95 faceoffs as well as Bergeron does, but Taves is probably a bit better player. He's probably a bit quicker and stuff like that. But those are the two best players. Everyone else is about 85 to 90 that I'm gonna be going over from now. But I'm going to show you the different values and ranges and prices and how good the players overall. This next one, we have a really, really good player who actually has pretty good faceoffs. Matt Duchesne, probably one of the fastest players here. He has 85 faceoffs, a really, really good player. He is definitely expensive, but he's a very quick player if you can spend like 250 to 300,000 pucks for this guy. The next player is actually a pretty good player. He's nothing too amazing, but he does have 85 faceoffs. That is Brandon Dubinsky. He's probably a great third liner for most teams, possibly for newer end teams, probably first or second line, but he has 85 faceoffs as well. This next guy is actually very underrated, but he's nothing too amazing, but definitely underrated, and he has 90 faceoffs. That is going to be Rich Peverly, 83 overall with pretty good stats. He has 90 faceoffs. Pretty short, pretty small, right-handed, and just an overall really good player for probably under a thousand pucks most of the time. This next player is definitely pretty expensive. I heard I never got to try him, but I heard he definitely had a downgrade from last year. Overall, I know his overall did, but people were saying he's not as good this year. I have not yet to try him. But Pavel Datsuk has 85 faceoffs, so he's definitely a pretty good player. Obviously, at 89 overall. He's pretty short, he's a quick player, and 85 face-off, so he could definitely do the job. This next guy is actually, I would say, a pretty hidden gem. I did not really know about, I knew he was pretty good in real life, but I wasn't really sure about in the game, but I did check out his stuff. Boyd Gordon is not that bad, as you can see his stats, I mean, 83, he's just overall pretty decent player. He has 88 face-off, so almost 90 face-offs, probably can get him for under a thousand pucks. You can get like two of these guys... Like, let's say him and Kelly, that's 88 and 90 faceoffs. That's going to win you most faceoffs. We have Mike Richards here, who has 85 faceoffs, who's a pretty good player as well. Fairly expensive, 510K. And then we have Jordan Stahl, who used to be really good, who's dropped down to 85 faceoffs, but still a pretty good player. Definitely a good third liner, second liner. And he has 85 faceoffs as well. The next player is actually. It's nice to see him have pretty good faceoffs because he's definitely one of the more overrated players in this game so far. But on the Minnesota Wild, Miku Koivu. I have not yet to try him, so I don't know how good he is in this game, but he is an 89 overall for a 20k, and he has 85 faceoffs as well. But, I mean, hopefully he's pretty good, but definitely having good faceoffs makes him a bit of a better centerman because 89 overall for Mikro Koivu, I, I don't think that should be it. And then the next Montreal Canadiens, they don't really have anyone special at center, so, and obviously a few other teams we passed in. But going to the National Predators, a really good guy right here is Paul Gostad. Look at that checking. He's really, he's a big player and he has 90 faceoffs. So if you were looking to get someone really like good at faceoffs, who's pretty cheap out of Kelly and Peverly, I'd say Gostad's probably the best. He's probably the biggest guy there. If you're looking for a quicker guy, probably Kelly or Peverly, but Gostad has 90 like 
face-offs and like 80 something 88 checking or 89 checking Giroux is 85 face-offs so pretty good he's also a pretty good player elite player for like 100k or so the next player sadly was not here but if you're looking to spend probably whenever there is one out probably like 500k at least 400k obviously Sidney Crosby is 85 face-offs so he's a very good player in all categories but there was none on the market at the time but again He's a really, really good player, elite player. I don't think you're going to be looking just for face-offs in Crosby, but you're going to be getting everything if you do get Crosby. Insane skill everywhere, insane speed, and good at face-offs. Well, not great, because there are a lot of guys here with 85+, plus, but 85 is definitely pretty good and probably going to win most of the time. The next player is Joe Thornton. He's not the quickest player, but overall-wise, he's a really good player. He has 85 checking. I mean, not 85 checking, 85 face-offs, excuse me. And overall, I mean, if you can get him for 10K or so, he's probably going to be a great player. When you most face offs, really good passer, pretty good checker, and just an overall pretty, pretty big guy. So he's not going to be really knocked out of the puck. The next player was Steve Ott at 85, but I did not see him here. I'm not sure where he was. I'm not. Sure. It said, I don't know, I don't know. But he was not here apparently. I, I don't know why he wasn't. There might have been one in my collection, but I did not decide to end up looking. I'm not sure what Stasny or Bacchus have, but they do not have higher than 85 because I checked each team. But they may be pretty good overall. But again, this is just video is just for face-offs. And the next one, they're, we're coming to the end. And the next one is going to be on the Tampa Bay Lightning. This guy's really good, especially he's got 85 face-offs. But Brian Boyle, like 84 overall, not too great. But he is 6'7", 240 pounds, 91 checking, 86 defense. An overall really good defensive player who does not really get knocked off the puck. And he does sometimes pick up some speed and get some breakaways. But 85 faceoffs, very good player there as well. The last player is probably a bit of a hidden. No one really knows about him. We have Slater, which you guys will see right there. He's only 79 overall, but he's not terrible. He's got 84 skating. He's not the biggest player, but he has 85 faceoffs as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And those are all the highest rated faceoff guys in the game. Crosby was not available to show, as well as Ott. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.